Hi guys, Teacher Jewel here. This video is on the beginner's abacus. We're going to look at some simple counting and setting numbers. If you're looking for a little more than that, such as adding or subtracting with, with or without regrouping, or how to use the Cranmer abacus, then be on the lookout for some of my other videos. But for today, we are going to look at the beginner's abacus. This abacus is the expanded abacus, or the expa ugh, the Expanded Beginner's Abacus from APH, the American Printing House for the Blind. It's a great tool to introduce early math skills to all students, but this one in particular is designed for students that are blind. Um, it shows a great representation of numbers for our textual learners and our Braille readers. So, wonderful tool. I hope this video is helpful for you. Today we're going to take a look at counting. 0 through 30 by 1s, we're going to count by 10s, and then we're going to count by 100s. After that, I think you'll have a pretty good feel for it, and we'll practice setting these numbers here. Alright, so I'm going to clear my abacus. So there's two terms you need to know, set and clear. When you clear it, you push everything down toward the bottom, or toward your belly. And when you set a number, then you're pushing the beads up. You're setting the beads toward the top of the abacus. All right. So if I want to set the number 1 for example, I am setting, I am pushing it up and now I am clearing the 1B. Okay. So that is the only vocabulary really that you need. So we're going to take a look here. We're going to count when the abacus abacus is cleared, all the beads are pushed down and this is 0. So the abacus is reading 0. Now I've written on here in marker, especially since I'm doing this upside down for you. <laughs> this is the ones column, tens column, hundreds column. So if we wanted to set the numbers, we'll start with one and start counting. That is in the ones column. So there's one and two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now I have set the number nine on the abacus. If I wanted to go on and to get to 10, there's no more beads, so I'm going to make an exchange here in these two columns. I'm going to set the 10 bead and push these down or clear these. So now I have one bead in the 10 columns and this column in the ones is cleared, so it is a zero. So essentially that is a one zero or a 10. And then we can keep counting. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, same thing, 20, clear those. So now we have 20, I could keep counting, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. All right, so I keep making that exchange. Every time I get to nine, I push a 10 beat up and clear the ones column. And we can continue doing that, 41, and so on and so forth. I will not make you listen to all the way to 999. So let's clear this for a minute. Now, if I wanted to set the number 30, that would take a long time to count each bead and to get all the way to 30. I could just start in the tens column counting by tens, right? So I could just say 10, 20, 30, and I end up exactly where I was when I was counting to get to 30. And you can continue in the tens column doing that. So we have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Now, same concept, I'm out of B's, I can't go to 100, so I'm going to make this exchange here. I'm going to push the 100 up and clear the tens column. So now I have a 1, 0, 0, 100. All right, and same thing, we could count from the 100 by 100s. So 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900. All right. So that is how you would count to 900. So let's clear the abacus. Let's practice setting some numbers, and I think you're really going to get it and be a pro at this. All right, let's set 18. So we know an 18 is the 1 and an 8. We know the 1 is in the tens column, so we set 1. The 8 is in the ones column, so we set 8 beads. And there you have it, 18, right, or a 1 8 let's clear that. Let's set 34. So now we're starting 10 column, 10, 20, 30, 4. 34. You got it, right? You're getting it? 65. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 
one, two, three, four, five. So this is the number 65. Now let's practice some three digit numbers going over to the hundreds column. So 132, 100, so we're going to go to our hundreds column, 100, 30, 10, 20, 30, 2, 1, 2. So I have just set the number 132. Alrighty, clear. Let's set 630. 600, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 600, 10, 20, 30. And in this case, we have the 0, 630. We just leave that with no beads set. We leave it in the cleared position in this ones column, 630. All right, clear. 509, let's set that one. 500, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, we don't have zero in the tens column, so make sure you skip that to leave that placeholder and go to the ones to set nine. So there you have the number 509. And last but not least, I told you this does go from zero to 999, so we will set 999. So with all the beads up, that reads 999. And that is it for the abacus. That wraps it up for this video. If you found this helpful, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe for future videos. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.